everyone, it's Henry and Stella from Meeple University. The return of Han Solo. Yes. <laughs> Very thematic. So <laughs> we are we are returned. Henry has returned to play Circadian's First Light with the Specialist expansion. Yeah. This is the first major expansion for Circadian's First Light, mm -hmm. and this is the second edition of Circadian's First Light. Yes. So the expansion is compatible with the second edition of Circadian's First Light. You can get the kind of like add-on pack on the Kickstarter to get the uh, to be to have your first edition of Circadian's First Light compatible with this expansion. I see. Yeah. Of Secret Chain. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we are going to do a solo playthrough. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Henry? I am ready. Yes. Uh, well, what we're going to do is we are going to do a overview of Circadians mm -hmm. and then a quick over another quick overview of the solo play mm -hmm. and then we're going to do a full game um, yeah. and see if Han Solo will feature this time. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, if you want to see a quick overview, I have my short and sweet video already published for Circadians First Light Specialists expansion. Very good. Thank yeah. you. Uh, all right, shall we get stuck in? Let's do that. All right, so how does that play, Henry? Okay, so here I've got the board all set up, ready for our solo game. Uh, Circadian's First Light is a worker placement game um, with the use of dice. So on each round, um, each player will roll um, up to five dice. And with the specialist expansion, they may also have one specialist as well in amongst those five dice. And these are essentially your workers for that round. The numerical value on the dice will help you determine where you can place those dice on the board. Um, different actions on the board will do the various different things based on the values of the dice. And the specialists are new addition, and these are like wild workers. So these can be any number you like when you go to place them out. They can also jump in out of order. And they've got a few other little benefits that they do. They can also interact with the new areas of the board, which is going to be this area down here. And these will have new special actions for people to take part of with their specialists only. So if we come back to the main board, uh, we've got all these different action spaces. And these are all little separate boards like this. And these are various different actions where you can send your dice out to onto these spots and you'll be able to take the different actions. I'll explain these as we play, because there's a lot to go through here. So hopefully I'll just about cover all of these different actions as we go through. Uh, most of these, you'll trade people in and you'll either get resources back or let you interact with this map over here, let you move around your explorer here and exploit the terrain for different resources. Uh, we've got like, yeah, some ships here and some resource gathering, some worker placement bonuses ways to trade resources, get more workers. These are two of the major boards and this one will let you fulfill contracts that you'll get at the start of the game. We've got these two areas over here, the depository and headquarters. The depository will let you interact with your contracts that you will draft at the start of the game or pick in a solo game. And these are ways to build up your engine in another way. So these contract cards, when you fulfill them, they'll either give you extra end of game points or they'll give you like, a bonus as we're going to various different areas on the board. We can also trade with the locals on this sort of new planet that we discovered. And these are the five factions of locals. They come in five different flavors. And these all do want different resources. So uh, this one wants water. Um, this one wants algae, algae, energy. Is it rubies or uh, rubies or uh, gems? Stone, gems? Gems, yeah. yep. And this one wants you to fulfill certain objectives. objectives. Yeah. So this is like an objective-based one, which is kind of like what you'd see in most games with the like, first person to achieve this can claim this reward. And these two are the new faction, yes. Akatea and Azuri. Yeah, so these neatly slide on to the end mm. of the board like this. Yeah, it's so. got the new bonus and penalty. Yeah, so there are penalties and bonuses based yeah, on yeah, yeah. values of dice that go on here. So if you're the first one to put a certain value out, you get a reward. And if you get punished, if you're the second person to put the same value out, or if the totals add up to too high. We will see how that works as we play. Over here, we've got the solo bot. And the solo bot comes in four different difficulties. 
Here we've got the standard one. You might be able to see that there. It says standard, so I'm playing on standard difficulty. There's easy, there's hard, and I think there's very hard. Uh, and the solo gets this extra board for the specialists where they can um, do some extra actions. And the bot simply deals in rubies. So they're not worried about any other resources other than rubies and workers. And they'll get more powerful as the game goes on. And they take all of their actions before I do. So um, we'll, we'll, I'll show you how this works, but yeah, you'll see it play out. Okay, that is like the most overview of overviews for this game. Um, there's a lot to unpack here. So hopefully my playthrough will help you unpack this and see if it's for you. Okay, so to kick things off, I'm going to select which leader I want, what contracts I want to keep and what um, specialist ability that I want to have, so what specialist building I want. So if we come to my player board here, I've drawn myself three leaders and I'll have to pick one of these. I also need to pick three of these five contract cards here. Make sure I'm keeping these on screen. And I'll have to pick one of these two um, specialist boards over here. So let's go through and decide which ones we want. So we've got three leaders here. This leader, uh, Eden. So she'll give us extra resources if I click her. And her ability is, I might have to just spin that to read it. You may discard one contract card to draw two contract cards in the planning phase. So she lets me just get more options for contracts. Um, the ability is not so powerful, but she does get extra resources at the start. So I think it balances out. We have got at Moss Tullen and he gets a token that lets him do the harvest phase during the worker placement phase. And he can use that once during the worker placement phase, but he doesn't get to do his normal harvest phase if he does that. So he also starts with an extra dice and two less algae. So he can generate resources during the worker placement phase, which mo most players can't do. So he's an in interesting new one, I believe. Yeah. And we've also got and she gains one energy and one algae during the rest phase for each worker under my five limit. So um, if I'm sort of not getting all five workers for the next round, I actually get rewarded with some resources. So I'll have a little look at my other cards and see which one might synergize nicely. So we've got five contracts here. One of these is this new end game scoring one, which has like a little red flag here. And these are new to the specialist expansion. Nice. So these will give us victory points at the end. <coughs> this one's quite cheap, so it only gives me two points. And at the end of the game, I get to do five trades, three five market trades at the end of the game. So I can trade my leftover resources for gems, which are worth victory points at the end of the game as well. Um, but that only happens at game end, so maybe not one I want to start with. We've got an aqua cannon, which Let's me go to the furnace at minus five water. Uh, tattoo kit that lets me go to get. control room and oh, get yeah. a gem whenever I go there. That's, That's how I move around my um, explorer. If I get this flask, I get to get five water whenever I take one of the specialist's actions. So it gives me five water as well as that. Let me do the specialist action. That's pretty good. Quite expensive, however. And this hammer, whenever I take the mining camp action, I get a contract. Oh, so, lots of engine building. Engine yeah. building is probably the one that... I think I'm pretty keen on these engine building ones. Yeah. This aqua cannon's cheap. And do I... The foundry action's pretty good, so mm -hmm. I might take that. <clears throat> How many are you picking? Three of these. Three, okay. Um, I think I like this gain a ruby when I move the explorer around. And I'll take the flask as well when I do the specialist action and get five water. Cool. So, Discard it. Take those, these two. This one lets me fulfill a contract at a discount. So I can fulfill That's one awesome. of these contracts over mm -hmm. here, but I can pay one less power, two less algae, and three less water when fulfilling that contract. That's pretty strong. So I've got some good contracts here. Yeah. If I pair it with this, it could be a really good ability. And this one gives me an extra die. Um, and I get to place that extra die in the headquarters. And that extra die I can use to place on a worker action spot before the AI does on the next round. So that's 
might be handy as yeah, well. So it's pretty good AI, as well. Yeah. And when you place in the headquarters, you get some resources. I like the look of this contract going yeah. one though, so I'm going to go with that. Mm -hmm. And now I've picked those two. I can probably yep. decide which leader I want. Maybe the contract lady, because I've got. Let me discard a contract yeah. to draw two, because this is a contract Life building. Contact, yeah. Sounds sounds good. Yeah, so let's go with Eden Forrester. Can I rest and look? Yeah. Go on. Go on. Fuel. So Eden's first ability is that she gives me a ruby, two power, and four algae. There you go. Nice. And over on the bot side, we just need to reveal the specialist action that they got. This one lets them peek at one of the rewards on one of these um, tiles and move the harvester when you go to this action. So to kick things off, we're going to reveal an event from the top of the deck here. So this de deck is the total rounds in the game. There's seven cards here. So we'll play seven rounds in total, and once it's at the end of the deck, then we finish up. And these are various different things that affect all the players for the round. This one says, ignore all algae costs from garages. Nira gains free algae. And I'm not Nira, so that I don't have to worry about that. So normally when you send worker out, you have to pay algae to send them out. Or Today we can ignore those costs. Or the uh, the second and third and so For the on. second and third workers, and so yeah. On. So it normally costs me free algae to send yeah. free workers that's out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good one to get first up. So sure. That's great. That's Look, really good for me. Yeah. And the AI actually gets bonus victory points based on how many blue event cards are out. So oh no! <laughs> they get because these are good for me and doesn't affect the bot. They get rewarded with some victory points, which okay. is an interesting way of balancing mm -hmm. that out. Yeah. So next we need to do is roll our dice. These are normally done behind hidden screens if you're playing in multiplayer. However, we are not, so I do not have my screen up. <laughs> yeah. And we have our three dice here. Now, normally you want to balance these dice between workers that you want to put out on the board to get points and upgrades and resources that you want to gather. Because we've got clear skies and because I started with extra resources, I can probably skip getting resources this round and just send all my people out as workers. Yeah, probably. Okay, I've prepared all of my workers here. So laid out my workers all on the top row to be sent out onto the board. Next thing we need to do is to send any dice from the headquarters out into the board. There's no dice in the headquarters, so we can skip that step. And after we send the dice out from the headquarters, we go to the bot. So let's jump to the bot screen. And the bot has these four dice along here. They start with four, it's printed on the board here. They take two actions every turn by default, depending on what they did get, they may get more and they'll send them from right to left along this board. So when the bot takes their turn, we draw the top card of this deck, place it here. When they place their first card out, they move their, um, they move their rover on the board and they move it based on the number on this card. So this is a five. So if we come back to the main camera, if you look at five on here, it, it shows that the their buggy is going to move left, yeah, and it's going to move as far as it can until it reaches either the edge of the board or oh. a gem, and then stop. So for them, they're going to fly over here and grab this gem. All right, and now they perform the action on the card in order. So first of all, they'll try and do this action. This is to trade with this um, faction over here. If they had two rubies or more, they would be able to do that. They do not. So we're going to do the next action on the card, which is to send a five to the academy. So they will take their dice and we'll put it on the academy on the board here in the, in the appropriate slot. And the card on their board says that they get two extra dice when they do this. So we'll draw two dice for them. Wow, it looks so And good. then add it They're to... They're cheating. <laughs> and we just add it here... We add it up here. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Now that that action is complete, we're going to do a second action. This action, they don't move the rover anymore. That's only for this first action. And they're going to trade with the blue faction. They do not have enough. So with the faction trading, 
they will always reference this ruby chart for every other board to the left of it. So if they had two rubies, they would be able to trade here, here, and here. So they only trade in rubies. They don't trade in any other, or, or gems, yeah. So they don't trade in anything else. They can't, so they're gonna go to the market and they're gonna send the dice a one to the market and they get plus one gem. So it doesn't matter what's actually on the market space, but they will first cover the leftmost space on here. Yep. And then gain a gem from the bank and add it to their stash. Yep. And that's a two actions for the round. So they will, if they get this upgrade, they will get three actions around. That's the last upgrade they get. And if they unlock specialists, they get to do additional things, but they haven't unlocked any specialists this round. So we both start with all, our, all of our specialists in the reserve to start the game. So I'm going to come over to my board. And I'm going to start resolving mine. So when you resolve your dice, you've got to go from left to right. So my first dice is this six, and I have a plan for where this is going to go. So I'm going to send my six out to this new area called the temple up here. And based on my dice result, because it's a four, five, or six, I get to recruit a specialist and gain a dice. This will either cost me one ruby or 10 water. I've got a ruby because of my special faction, so I'm going to spend that to do that action. And I'm going to gain a dice from my supply of dice. There's a big supply of dice over here off screen. I'll bring it on. And these are like extra workers that you can get, but you can't have over five on your board. So this will just go into like a reserve later for when I recruit workers next round. I'll also get a specialist. So when you recruit a specialist, let's uh, jump onto my board, you get an option of the three different specialists on this side of the board. So these do various different powers. So the top specialist up here, if I remove this one, I get two victory points at the end of the game. And I also get more reward when any other player uses my specialist action and the bot to do use these actions. So this could be a good one to unlock so I can get more income when the bot uses this action. I'm really hoping to use this action as much as possible for myself, however. The other one I could unlock would be this one, which says specialists do not count towards your max number of dice. So instead you of having have six. five dice, I can have six yeah. dice, six actions a turn, which is obviously great. And this one says um, whenever I use a specialist dice, specialists cost minus one algae to send out. Nice. Which is good, but obviously not good this round because all algae is free. So I think I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with this one and hope that I can get some extra dice in the future. Now, when I recruit the specialist, if I recruit one and I don't have any specialists currently, I can only have a max of one on my board, I can pick one of my dice out here to replace with the specialist and use it as that dice. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to replace this two with this specialist dice. And this two goes back to this, my supply of dice. So now I've got this specialist here. I'm going to use my specialist action, which is sending it just to here. And my specialist action lets me fulfill a contract at a discount. I want to get this and do tattoo kit. So what this does is I get to buy this at minus three water, For minus five. two algae, and minus one power. So it just cost me five, five water. water. Yeah. Nice. I buy that for five. So it's worth five victory points at the end of the game, which is amazing. And I'm going to have to put these over here on a separate area so I can have my built fulfilled, by fulfilled ones over here. And now I get rewarded whenever I do this action, which is the control room action, which I'm about to do right now. Nice. So normally Such this next worker will cost me two hours to send out. It doesn't because of the event. And I'm going to go to the control room. I will spend two power. I've got an option of two power or ten water. I'm going to spend two power, mm -hmm. and my uh, buggy will move in the direction of one, which is up and right. So on this board, I'll move it up and right, which is to this spot, which gives me one power and one dice during the harvest phase of my turn. Nice. And because I have this card, I get a gem at the same time. Oh, so good. I think that was a pretty well I think it was quite turn. efficient. Yeah, yeah very. very good. Very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until like five rounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, I hope every time I get clear skies, so I don't have to worry about LP. Yeah. <laughs> so that was but, a d- d- luxury for sure. Uh, no, yeah. but AI just, you know, yeah. can just like stalk you eventually, yeah. perhaps. Maybe. We'll, we will see. We will see. <laughs> so we're both, AI does all its actions first. I get to do all mine after. We've mm-hmm. both done that. Yep. Now we move on to the harvest phase. Yep. So I'll do mine first. Mine's pretty easy. I have no people on any of these harvest spots, but these will generate me resources based on, sorry, yeah, so these harvest spots here, these will generate me resources based on the amount of pit value I have in each of these spots. These, it's just none. But I do harvest from the main board. So where my um, extractor <laughs> is here, I get one power and one dice. That is so good. One dice is a... Yeah, I, need that, I needed that dice. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> nice. Uh, for the bot, they do harvesting slightly different. They don't worry about this main board at all. They look to, so they, first of all, return all the dice from the board, ones that aren't locked, which I'll explain soon. And they'll fill up this as much as they can, discarding any others. Mm-hmm. And they will harvest based on this amount on the top. So they will get free gems because they've maxed this out. If they were on this side, they'd get dice instead of gems to like refill up to free. So because they have lots of dice, they get lots mm. of gems, which, which is good for them. Now we move from harvest to rest, where we all return all our dice from the board. Dice are returned from most spaces other than the depository and when you trade with the um, different factions out here. Yeah. These dice are left there permanently for the whole game. So that you'll actually lose workers and that's why you have so many dice in your reserve ready to come in to recruit to replace those workers that you permanently lose. So I get to take these back. And I have my specialists. So I have four dice, which is pretty good. I could have had one more if I had planned it slightly better. Next harvest. Next harvest, yeah. yeah. I think it's good enough. You got one gem. And gems hard to get usually. Yeah, and I got my specialist already, so that's really nice. Yeah. Uh, next round? Uh, yep, yeah. and this would be when the AI would gain dice, if oh, they yeah. could gain dice, but yeah. they don't. And yes, so now we start with the next planning phase. Before we start the next round, however, we do need to follow the rest actions on this board here which is to destroy one farm and to destroy one ship so that lets us rotate these um, piles so we pick the leftmost pile or the highest pile so in this case we will destroy this um, spot and this spot put those off screen somewhere and i will reveal these two oops so these <coughs> these tiles are these will upgrade my ships that let me send out workers and give me a reward or a discount for sending people out. And these will upgrade my harvest action so I can get free water every harvest round or gain a contract or use a six to get two extra dice. That's so, kind of good because then they don't get stale, they get refreshed. They get, well. they get refreshed, yeah, yeah. So that's a good thing. And if the bot had this action ready, so there's a conspire thing here, which would let them interact with this end board to get these bonuses so the bot also has goals that they, they need to complete and if they complete those they will send out workers onto their spot at the conspire phase yep by the way this is these are prototype dice everyone so the published dice uh, were meant to make uh, like just like the actual dice but no bits yes so it looks similar yeah, I mean, they actually yeah. look quite nice as I is, know, but yeah. uh, I'm sure the final product will look be- even better. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So on to this next round. First thing we need to do is reveal a new event. Well, we've got another blue event, which is good for me. I do like blue events. The laboratory only requires one die, and all foundry costs may be ignored. All right. So that's a pretty crazy um, card. So oh, yeah. this is called Spring Clean. So normally to go to the laboratory action to get these additional incomes, you need to send two matching dice to go there. I only need to send one dice this round. Sweet. Or I can go to the foundry where I recruit these ships. And instead of spending either two power or ten water, I can just get one. Mm-hmm. The, the, the cost is ignored. So good time to upgrade our ships, I think. Okay, and last thing we need to do for the next round, so we move on to rolling our dice and preparing our boards. 
Okay, so I've set up my dice like this, ready for the coming round. And now it's over to the next phase, which is doing the bot's turn. So normally a headquarters would happen, so I'd, I'd have a chance to go before the bot if I had placed in the headquarters, which I have not done yet. Uh, the bot gets to go. We need to clear away last round's cards. And we will reveal the first card for the bot. Three. So a three, we're well, gonna move the um rover. Rover, thank you. First. Mm -hmm. So rover moves in the, the direction of three, which is down and right. And that's gonna drag him over to this gem, and he's gonna Aww. eat these water off the board. So As he well. just he just clears them away. Yeah. Uh, and he gets this gem. Add to his huge pile of gems mm -hmm. that he's got on his board. Mm -hmm. And now he's gonna do the action here, which is do a trade with the blue faction. Sorry, I'm not going to pronounce their names because I'm going to make a mess of it. <laughs> uh, and it's going to cost a number of gems um, up to the most expensive one that they can afford, which is going to be five gems. So we use this reference. So it's going to be the bottom action on the blue faction. So they put a number three there. And they spend five of their gems. And this gives them 11 points at the end of the game. So. Jeez. Bit rough. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that's, they don't need to do any of the actions. They do, however, trigger um, this. So they get to trigger the reward for being the first one there. And all they do is move that first one to place the free, sorry. And all they do is they pretty much use up that spot. And it doesn't move it over here. They don't actually do any actions on this side. They just, um, they just make me have less options, essentially. Mm. So that's the first action done. Now I will reveal the second action. And they will trade with the green faction. They did not have enough gems. So they will go to the market and gain two gems. It's feeling extra generous today. Mm -hmm. And they get plus two. That's it. No specialists or anything for them. So that's well, good that's at least. Good, yeah. yeah. I mean, they are getting 11 points already, which yeah. is a bit of a blow. But mm. so be it. But the best thing about it was they didn't take the foundry spot, which I desperately wanted. So um, the first dice on my board here, I get to change the pit value up to one when I get to take it. So I'm going to change it up to a five from four and then send it out onto the foundry. And if I send a five onto the foundry, I get to take this rightmost ship. This is five or six written above it. And it's free. And it's free. It's... So I need to put this on the leftmost spot on my board, which is here. And that will let me do a trade when I do that action. So I get to do one free market trade Sweet. whenever I take that action, which is flexible. I that's, think it's that's very yeah, flexible. Yeah. So. I found that the, the market's usually not really that, I don't know, it's powerful. Not a great, it's not a great use of your turn. Yeah, yeah. But it, it can, if you, have a, you can trade a lot of resources for another resource. So if you have a strategy of getting a lot of resources on something, it's, uh, it's useful, I think. Yeah. And then if, especially this one now that you can get it, Get it as a bonus. You get it as a bonus. Then that's a different strategy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's, it's nice to get, you know, if you're missing one gem or something, then you can yeah. make it happen. So that's totally. good. Totally. Yeah. Now, another boon of the specialist is they can jump ahead of dice on your board to go before they can, which I will do. I'm not sure it's necessarily needed, but I will do it anyway, just to show it off. Yeah. Uh, it kind of cost me two algae to send this worker out. So I'll just pass that over to you, Stella. Yeah. And I'm gonna need to, oh, I did forget to do something that I really wanted to do, which was to trade one of my cards in the planning phase for two additional contract cards based yep. on my leader power. Is it too late to do that now, do you think? Because I was supposed to discard one to draw two, but. Um, At what uh, There was meant to be doing the planning phase. Okay, okay. Which, um, it's kind of a bit late now, so I think I'll just yep. leave it to next turn. The next but, turn, okay. So sending my specialist here, I get a discount of three water, two algae, and one power. So I have to pay one power and four water. So that's a five and an algae. Actually, not an algae, sorry, a power. One water back, please, Stella. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I have unlocked this flask, which will, when I do this in the future, now I get five water as well as being able to do this action. Ooh. So that sounds really neat. And this is also worth four victory points. So Nice. Juicy combo there. For sure. 
and last action on my two dice and I did have a plan for this okay, so I'm going to send out this two and this two is going to go to the control room to move my um, buggy around Rover Rover, I'm going to call it a buggy or <laughs> yeah, Rover here, yeah. oh, I'm going to mix it up Australia, every time right? I say something so buggy. I'm going to use two power to send that around I'm also going to do my trade with my ship I'm going to trade free water for two algae as on this board here can you give me two algae, please? Thank you. I think algae is going to be one thing I struggle for during this game mm. as um, as I play through. I also need to spend one algae to send this out. So I'm going to remember uh, to do that. And well, you didn't take the special leaf specialist with the algae this game. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to move over to here. Just, that's the direction two can go. I would like to go on there, but too bad. And... I get a gem whenever I move, do this action. So it's a control oh, reaction. So good. Making the most of these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that is good. I think that's all I wanted to do. Done that. Done, done that. So, yep, happy with that. So, that is all of our actions. We are now moving on to the harvest phase. So, first harvest phase will be mine. I've got two dice down here. I can harvest either water or algae with this dice, and either water or power with this dice. Based on the thing uh, below at that chart. Yes, and I really should have had these in the other way around, but that's fine. We'll take. You need algae. What didn't you like to say? I got. Ago? I got Complain. seven. I got seven <laughs> algae. So I'm not doing too badly. I just. I just know because of the way my rover's going. It's not anywhere near algae on that board over oh, there. Right, so right, I yeah. think I'm going to be short as I play. Mm. I, I do need water, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take water with the second one. I'm gonna take algae with this first one. So I'm gonna yeah. get three algae. Yeah, it's good. I think that's good. good and choice. I'm gonna get six water with this one. So they come here. They come back to your board. They don't yep. get consumed. All right, nice. Next, we need to return dice, but we do the bot harvest first. So bot harvest is return dice. So we do that first for them. I've only got one dice that they can return. Mm -hmm. And they get the harvest now, which is two gems. So I'm going to give them two gems. Now we move on to... Did I do my... I didn't do my race, my gather from the main board. No, not yet. So, so I need to get nine water and one power as well. Mm -hmm. Nine water. Give me one back, please. Okay. Two, these are five each, so give us um, oh, sorry, one, it's a nine. One, one more. Oops, yep, Thank almost you. like rob you of water. <laughs> <laughs> poor Henry, thirsty yeah. in the desert. Yep, <laughs> and for the rest, action for the bot, we need to they don't need to gain any dice, they will destroy one farm, destroy one ship. So they will destroy this and this off the board, and these two need to be revealed. Yes, okay, that's it for now. That is it. I need to return my dice as well. Um, and my specialists here. Yeah. Now five dice. Still got five dice. I didn't haven't sent any to go away yet, mm -hmm. which is unusual for me. I oh, normally okay. um I normally consume yeah. all of these spots straight away. So yeah, mixing still, it up a bit. Still two rounds. Yep. And there's still five rounds. Sorry. I think this contract because I normally normally have to sacrifice dice to fulfill contracts. Ah uh, yeah but you but don't I don't have to now so it's actually quite nice. I don't have to worry about dice as much. Mm. Yeah. Um so that is that phase. They will not conspire. They have not fulfilled enough requirements. So we will move on to the next round which we will reveal a planning card. Oh I must have rigged this deck. Oh, oh I got another <laughs> another blue one. No he didn't. And this says all farms double their effectiveness. Ooh. So that's really nice. I don't have many farms, ones. but um, yeah. if I get some dice down there, they'll be twice as good. So brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, and you roll your. And I'm gonna roll my dice. And I'm gonna before I do, I'm gonna discard this card to draw yeah. two before <laughs> I forget. Yeah. So we've got a ledger which will let me gain a contract whenever I go to. What is that symbol? The depository, which yeah. is pretty nice. Yeah. This. 
This yeah. one's, yeah. Well, you just talk about like you're not going there. <laughs> it's true, actually. It's yeah. not that great. <laughs> <laughs> not that great for me. I listen. And then you've got the, yeah, <laughs> paying too much attention to that. <laughs> and you've got the quarter star, which is worth five points. And yeah. I can get it pretty cheap. So and that will give me a gem every time I go to the foundry. Oh, that. that's good. All right. So roll oh, these okay. dice and I will pick where these go off camera. Okay, so I've prepared my board. I'm maximizing how many resources I can get. So it's been doubled, <laughs> so I rolled two sixes. So Smart move. Let's make the most of that, I think. Yeah. And I actually got a lot of resources, which then I can trade with the Ooh. trade with the sort of population here. I get some lots of victory points in there. Nice. So that's my plan there. Um, I don't have anyone in the headquarters again, so our bot friend is going to kick us off. So if we jump over to their board, we need to reveal their first card. Ooh, five. Five, and they will spend a gem to go to the depository. So they spend one of their gems. Oh, we need the rover again. The oh, way. yes, we need the rover. Thank you. Thank that you. is something yeah. that, Let's do that um, first. slips by. Yeah. So five is in the direction of left. And because they are here, they can't actually move left. Oh, no. And that's perfect for me. So they don't move. Uh, uh, excellent. So, so that's, that's basically it. That's it for the race. <laughs> I, I correctly ignored it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and now we're going to go to the depository, spend a gem. Yeah. They send a five out and then plug up the five spot on here. Mm -hmm. They take the topmost spot because it's the most valuable. And basically, at the end of the game, they get five points. Yeah. The points are equal to the dice value. Ah, you know. So <laughs> it's a pretty good action for them. One, yeah. one gem, five points. Yeah. yeah. How hard can it be, right? Mm -hmm. Second action. They will go to the depository again for the six. Oh. <laughs> so rude. Oh, rude. Okay, I'll so get it. five get and six are now being used in the depository. And one of their goals for the game is to have four dice on here. So they're ah. two towards one of those goals as well. Which what? Is how so they, they win if that's the game? No, they right. get to go to the Azuri oh, right, um, yeah. and fulfill, one of, fulfill what that particular action. Okay, okay. That's it. Good for any good thing for me from this, other than them getting 11 points, which is bad, but... They mm -hmm. consume two of those dice, they, they won't come back. Yeah. They stay out of the depository forever. But they get so. gems. Gems. But they, don't, but they won't get gems this round because they don't have enough dice. So right. It's oh, slow as their income. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, that is their turn. So my turn. Now, I don't think they blocked anything I wanted to do, so that's good, at least as well. So I want to move my rover on the board. It's going to cost me 10 water. Is your gem? Thank you. Thank you. One step ahead. Of yeah. <laughs> and water. Yeah. And it's going to move up and to the right. <clears throat> Moving out onto two power and 12 um, water, which is great. It's good income. Next, I want to use my specialists and I'm going to do the same action again. <laughs> Fulfill a uh, contract. We are going to go with the quarter staff here. Getting what? a you sure? hefty you discount. Com you complain about. The, found, the foundry is okay. This okay, is, this okay. is the, the depository one. one I'm not oh, use. sorry. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You're right. So I get five water when I use one of these actions now because of this. Ooh. So I'll get five water and then I need to spend three of it to fulfill this. water first. So five water, mm -hmm. spend three water in the and three algae, algae and, and no power. It. Yeah, so wow. Cheap. Very good. Bargain. And that quarter staff is going to give me one gem whenever I go to the boundary. And lastly, I am going to make use of the headquarters space because this this dice isn't particularly useful um, as a one. There's nothing I really want to do with it. So I'm going to send it to the headquarters. So I'm going to make use of this. When you go to the headquarters, you're the first one here. It means you get to take yours off before the bot goes on the Yay. next round. You get to perform an action, making sure you don't lose the spot on the board. And this first spot lets me flip the dice optionally. So I can turn this one into a six. six. Yeah. And when I go here, I can choose to either get two contracts or five water. Because I'm a contract kind of person, I think I'm going to take those two contracts. Very makes sense. Up my choices. If I was smarter, I would have done that before I bought my contract. But That's okay. It's all good. Yeah. Mm. Mistakes are made. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Done. All right. So now we go to my harvest, which is very kindly doubled. And I'm going to grab myself, because this is a six, I look to this chart here, I get four algae normally, so I'm going to get eight algae for this. I'll just Thank you. 
Oh, algae duck. Now, I don't think I spent my algae that turn either for these two spots. So I'm going to spend the free algae. <laughs> I'm, in a, I, I'm in, in a bit of an algae debt. I did have that algae spare, yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. all good. And um, I'm going to get 16 water for my other one as well. Yeah. So the reason why I didn't get power is because I get 2 power and 12 water from the board over here as well. There you go. Wow, swimming. Literally prepared. swimming in water. Swimming in water. So I'll, I'll trade for... Um, I'll trade, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Give it, um... Yeah, over here. So she gives me specialists and dice mm -hmm. when I trade with her as well, which that's is really nice. Good. Yep. So that's all of those done. Um, now we go to our bot. They go to return dice. They can't. They gain gems. They don't gain any because they don't have any dice on the gem gainy spots. That's good. We move on to the rest phase. Uh, all dice come back off the board for me. Not, other than the, the one, bot. other than the headquarters. Yeah. Um, so I've got four dice now here, but this actually counts as one of my Correct. towards my five. So yeah. Um, and the bot they get to gain dice, which they do do. They gain one dice because they are one short. Yeah. And that's where they are. So you gain one dice and put it here. Doesn't matter what the value is. Okay. And they will destroy one farm and destroy one ship. So we look at the highest stacks on the board. Destroy that this one. one. And yep. if it's oh, not the sorry. highest, it is the leftmost, which will be... Is it the highest? This Probably one. That one, I guess. Yeah. It's a minus five water discount when you send out. Ooh. It's pretty good. Yeah, very good. I think also, I forgot to do my trade, but that's in the past. You don't even need it. <laughs> you don't even need it, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, these gems are really good trade potent material too. Oh, so. yeah, because you can... I can trade gems for four algae or two power. So it's really, oh, really good combo. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like, I feel like your gems is later like end game. You they are, they are good for. Yeah. I haven't actually drawn any contracts that require gems, but normally there's a quite a yeah. few that do, and they're often worth a lot of points. So hopefully I come up with some of those soon. Sure. All right, new event for the next round. Another blue one. <laughs> um, I'm a little, a little bit worried now. <laughs> Uh, uh, but gain two contract cards when sending dice to the market. So if I use the market action, yeah. I gain two contracts. Oh, now you can fresh the gem. <laughs> yeah, a little bit weaker than the other yeah. um, blue cards. So. Oh, now you're complaining. I know, I'm good. complaining <laughs> about the good cards. It gives him points. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to roll our dice and assign again. <clears throat> Before I get into working out where my dice go, I want to use my character ability to trade one... Um, Contract card for two. Very good. Okay, so I've set up my dice ready for the next round. I'm not going to do much harvest in this round. It's all, all actions. <laughs> because I've got so many resources. I've <laughs> yeah. made most of them, I think. Yeah. Um, all right. So before we get to the bot's turn, I do get to action my headquarters. So Ooh. that's really good. I'm going to turn this dice into six. a six. Do I want to, or do I want to keep it as a one? Oh, depends on what you're going to go. I can fulfill a contract. I'm going to go to the temple. I'm going to either fulfill a contract if it's a one, which I do want to do. I had planned to do another dice, but I could multi, multi-purpose it. If it's, a, if it's a six, you get a specialist and another and dice. dice. But then you add a I think I think I'm going to keep it as a six. Yeah. That's one of my original plan. I'm going to spend one yeah. gem to get that action done. Yeah. And I get to unlock a specialist, which I will unlock. Either the one that gives me a discount, or I'm gonna get the one that gives me a discount and hope the bot doesn't get this spot. Yeah, okay. yeah. And okay. this specialist goes into my reserve of specialists, right, and yeah. what that means is if I use this specialist to go to one of these trades or to the depository, I can immediately bring this specialist into play, replacing one of my dice on my board with this specialist instead. I also get to gain a dice at this, this stage because of the. Temple action, so it sits in my reserve of dice down here. The first thing they need to do, reveal a card and move the rover in the direction of four, oh. which so. is down this way. So they can mm -hmm. rotate around the board mm -hmm. with this arrow. I'm actually going to take this gem here. Ooh. It's a bit annoying because that was in my plan to take oh, that no. gem. So, too so, bad. Sorry. That's the idea. They're meant to act like another mm -hmm. player. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to perform the action. So with a four, they're going to go to the depository again and take the four spot, which is also in my plan. Aww. 
one gem. Uh, and he gem, correct. Yeah. So that's the first action and second action. Oh, I think I've drawn four depository cards in a row now. Oh. Uh, we're going to go to the depository again with a four and perform that action again. Spending oh. one gem. All right, that action's getting weaker and weaker, but that's fine. Okay, uh, AI is keeping their turns very simple. They haven't unlocked any specialists, so normally when they do, they'll get this exploit move, but they have a chance to use these boards and take up my spot and take up yeah, their spot yeah. and gain gems that way and unlock upgrades and stuff, but it just hasn't happened this game. Uh, let's go to my board, and I will finish what I was trying to plan before. So, But now it's blocked. It's a bit blocked, so... yeah. This four was going to go here, but I can actually go to this three instead. So I can yeah. adjust this by one. That's so true. My plans aren't so blocked. Mm -hmm. I'll send this over here. That lets me to fill a contract. I want to get this hydrolyst core for five water and two algae. And what this one does is lets me go to move my rover for five resources less. Five, wow. five water less. That's awesome. So that would combine nicely with the gaining gems yeah. every time I move it as well. So, so this one? So this one gains me a gem and this one gains oh, sorry, yeah, this five one. less yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yep. Cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I've got that. And because I went to the top row here, I get to perform the action on this row, which is to move the rover. rover. Actually, because I'm playing with the rover later, do I want to move it now with this action? Yeah, but actually, is... I'm actually going to claim the dice instead. Okay. I'm going yeah. to go to the dice row. So I think yeah. having a good steady income of dice is yeah. good. Actually, I'm going to move the rover. Sorry. <laughs> I thought okay. I was purple. I'm going to move yeah, the rover yeah. up into the left over here. Get this juicy income of resources over there. That is very good. And now I can potentially move that into the water on the board. Mm. Okay. That's my first action. Yeah, you did not get the one that uh, give you bonus when you go to the depos uh, depository. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I don't have yeah. that. Yeah. It's okay. You make sure. Make sure. Next up, I'm going to send my specialist out. I'm going to do, make a trade first. I'm going to trade one of my gems for. Ooh. Oh, trade some um, gems away. I think so. I think it's my best value move. I think I'm going to get my gem for yeah. four four algae. Ooh. <laughs> it's just like counting your riches. I'm gonna send my specialist out to trade Ooh. over here, and I'm going to trade thirty <laughs> water. Specialist, man. I think specialist. Well, Maybe there's too much it. water. I'm not sure. Do I need water for anything else? Um, mm. I want to move my. I do need move. I do need some to move the buggy around. So I'm gonna run out if I do this. Oh, um, you've got. Well, I'll get free water from the. No, that's after. Yeah. I would I'll make it the twenty I'll make it the twenty four spot. Okay, I'll just in six. case. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll get it's one, like it's high risk. It's like yeah. thirty waters at round what, three or four? One one water change, please. Yeah. It's quite a bold move, I yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> uh and when I go here, I can gain one specialist or one die. Oh. Um I'm gonna gain a die, I think. That's consuming my dice. I'm gonna get this one back, so that's three. Yeah, that's what I've got there. two here for five. And I'm gonna because I've done this, I can trade one of these dice for the specialist now. Yeah. Straight away. Maybe this one. And that gets discarded. I also forgot to spend my algae again, so I'm gonna spend that for <laughs> my algae. And that's done. And uh, sorry, and now I get this reward. So this, because I was the first person to spend a specialist out onto the board, the first two people to spend specialist out on any of these boards get to take one of these, and I can pick a reward from here. Yes, so uh, the new ones are two contracts and one specialist. Yeah, that's right. One of these is to gain these resources immediately, which is pretty good. Three power, two, three power and a nine water. So I'm going to use this to harvest the resources on the board where my... Um, oh no, that's this first one, sorry. sorry. I'm not actually going to do that, because that's uh, the wrong. This is to move the um, machine around. This first one was to um, harvest the spot that it was on. Okay, so for this, I'm going to take this ship upgrade, which will let me take one of these top ship um, tiles on the board. 
I don't get the one that costs minus five water. And that has to slot in just there. Nice. All right. Now I get to use this specialist. With gonna, five water less. Hey. Five water less. I'm hey, going to use that to fulfill a contract. We're going to make a total eight water less. Ooh. And that happens to be the amount of water that I need to spend on this. <laughs> so I get eight water less. Um, two algae less, which is already so. I just need to spend two power on this one, and I also gain five water from going to this spot. So you give me five water, please, Della. Oh yeah, your um, um, your other contract. My other contract, wow. yes. And this contract will let me gain a dice whenever I go to see the red faction on that board over there. Dragic. Yep. I think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So <clears throat> by the way, uh, Garfield Games. YouTube channel has pronunciation guide on these factions. Mm, would have been good to know prior to recording. <laughs> Oops. I didn't know it, I just forgotten some. But I did ask Shem for the two new factions because he's not there yet. I see, yep. yeah. <laughs> All right, back to the game. Back to the game. And <coughs> I did spend my algae, I did do that. You did um, do that. And last dice, I'm going to spend two algae again to get free back, please. And I'm going to move my harvester in the direction of I am light blue over yep. here. Take these free water Ooh, from water. the board. Were you worried about the water two seconds ago? Yeah, I wasn't sure I would be able to afford this that's action. True, but that's true. it only cost me five water mm. because of my discount, and I gain a gem. Please, yep. That's right, your rover action is very powerful. Yes. So that was the main mm -hmm. reason why I did that action, was to gain that gem mm -hmm. as well. Let's put it here then. Yeah, we should probably stack them up like that. <laughs> yep. Now move on to harvest, which I have no dice here. However, I do harvest on the main board, which gives me four power and six water. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Stella. Thank Thanks you. Much. I've got lots of power, so it's going to be used for trading probably. I will see. And now we go to the bot. The bot wants to return any dice from the board. Let's they discard this. You spend all their dice again, so they're not going to gain any gems. Um, they will move on to the next stage, which is gain dice, which they'll gain two. Go back up to three. So it's got two dice at the printed at the top here. Right. We destroy a farm and a ship. Mm, yep. These two get discarded. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So I've got to return my dice back to my board as well. So I've got these two and this one. So I've kept even on dice by the looks of very things. Very good. Yeah. yeah, very efficient. I just realized um, that when I sent my second specialist out, I should have had a one algae discount. So Stella, that's right. could you refund me that yes. one algae, please? Yes, every every algae counts. I know, world. it's really tough. So you've got to make the most of that. Mm -hmm. Then you've uh, unlocked five points there. I've unlocked well. five points down here too, which is really nice. Yeah, because I had to have both of these removed. Yeah. So. Yeah. So next round, uh, let's see if I have another blue event. <gasps> <laughs> What's just going on? I <laughs> swear I shuffled said, these well, and I played this several times. <laughs> so maybe I just got all the red events last yeah. time. Ignore all water and energy costs when sending dice to the control room. Ooh. So control room is. Thank you. All right. So I already pretty much do that. You already. Have, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I already ignore five of the water costs. So. Yeah, but then it's yeah. ignore. Oh yeah. It ignores all costs, all so, energy and water. So. Just pretend that you play paying yeah, energy yeah. and then like ah, it's freebie. Yeah, freebie. Yeah. Okay. Not the most powerful for me, mm -hmm. but I won't complain. Yeah. Roll your dice. Roll my dice. Including the <laughs> my contract. You're rolling the as specialist well. as well. I always got the right <laughs> yeah. specialist. Never, you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> Blank. Uh, so I'm gonna trade my contract card. Right. I'm gonna trade this one so it's worth less points. I've got an end game one. This gives me two points per um, trade with this purple faction, which is good. Oxytire. I've already, I've already made a start with that. Yeah, yeah. Oxytire. Thank you. That one I'm definitely interested in. And this armor. Uh, when I go to the lab, the lab which I just never do, apparently, yeah. <laughs> um, I would gain a dice. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've prepared my dice out over here, ready for the next turn. 
Um, I don't have anyone on the headquarters, so it's going to jump straight over to the box turn. Okay, box first action, which will Let's move, move the rover five. Rover for five. Five is left. So they oh. are moving to here and All grabbing the way this gem. There. Yeah. Good at finding these gems, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And now they're going to trade with green. They yeah, really. have four gems, so they will go to this level of rank. So here. Mm -hmm. Spend all of their gems. Send a five out into that space. Block that space. And there was something during this planning phase that I remembered, which um, should have done before now, which was last turn, at the end of last turn, mm -hmm. when we did um, after resting, the bot have a fifth action called Conspire. And this is how they interact with this board. And because they have four dice out on the depository, they've actually fulfilled one of their goals. Oh. So one of these dice will be placed over here as a, uh, we roll it actually, as a four, and it goes here. Because it's a four, they consume the four reward. Put that over there. I see. Yep. So that's that happened looking. at the end of last turn during step five and conspire. So mm -hmm. I didn't notice that they had four in the depository at the end yeah. of last turn. So that was just something we, um, yep. we missed there. Shouldn't have affected anything other than mm. maybe my planning a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, and this five lets him. Yeah, they've got the first five on the board as well, so mm. they're going to clog up this spot as well. Thanks a lot, bot. <laughs> and that's the first card done. Next card. They eventually don't have any gems left. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But somehow they've got the best market action ever, planning oh. themselves free gems. So. <laughs> Um, they really don't want to recruit themselves a specialist or um, unlock any of their permanent yeah. upgrades. Just there, right there. Yeah. Yep. Three gems. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. And that's the two actions done. Okay, so for my first action, this five, I'm going to change it into a four. And then I'm going to send it over to the control room. This is free this round. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to move down the left to snap all this gem off the board. And to gain a gem for using Whoa. the control room. So a couple gems more all up. gems for me, which is really nice. Very good. Next up, I'm going to use my special contractor dice, spending two algae, which I'll remember to spend. Is it one dice now? We've got a discount, no? I'm going to I'm going to use this. So, oh, yeah, it's one. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Give me one back. <laughs> and I'm sending this uh, minus, minus five of water cost over to here again. I'm well, really abusing I mean, this action over here. Just um, give it to you now. Uh, what's this? It's ah, uh, so I, yeah, sorry. I gain five water as well. Yeah, and I get minus five. So I'm I'm gonna build this trident. It's gonna cost me one gem. It's gonna cost one water. One water, correct. And no algae. Oh, not bad, right? Yeah, not bad at all. And this trident was Very the one that good. gives me victory points based on how many uh, water dice I have out. Oh, on uh, on this uh, Oxakaya. Yeah. Okay. It's really good. Uh, yeah, next up, I'm going to do a trade with one of these. I'm going to send my one out, spending my one algae. And I will, let's see how much water I got. 18 is one. Yep. 18 water. Yeah. So I'm going to send, put that on the 18 spot. There you go. Um, so we can probably, uh, 18. Yep, 18. When I do this, I get to gain a specialist or a die. I'm going to gain a die. Sweet. Um, and we'll check for, oh, you get the bonus I first. I get the bonus for one. And either gain a die or a gem. Both are tempting, but I'll take the die. Yeah. How many die you have? Oh, yeah, you lose one, you gain one, that's okay. I gain two now. Oh, yeah. Make one gain two, which is great. Let's check penalty, the penalty. Sorry. So if it's total, I mean, if these are matching, I get a penalty. Yeah. So two, if there's two specialists in the one area, I get a penalty. So this is matching, this is two specialists, or this is total of dice is above eight. Eight or, eight, eight or eight above, or more, yeah. which none none of those are in into play. Yeah. It only counts as one. Specialists are zero essentially. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, and I didn't do my trade, which I'm gonna do. Yeah, right now. I'm gonna trade two power to grab a gem, please. Ooh, gems up. And for my last action, spending two algae, I'm gonna send this two out over here. To trade my gems away for points. Oh, excellent. 
And I've got a bonus for this guy as well, where I get a dice whenever I visit him. So I get another dice. Wow, diced up. So hopefully, I'm sending out dice That's here, but I'm getting dice money. back. So it's very really, efficient. Very nice little thing. And yep. his one is to secretly peek at two gem caches on the board. I don't really have to do it very secretly because I'm playing by myself. Yeah. I'm just going to flip two, even though yeah. in a normal game you'd check you, these yeah. in private. There you go. That's the All highest right. one, right? And eight, eight is our best one. Four is the Ooh. lowest and eight is the best. So I'll probably want to get my harvester up here. I do actually want to turn them back because I guess um, this is what you harvest. Yeah. So we're just going to remember that the best one is Eight the and six. So yeah. I'm definitely going to try and get up there before the end of the last round. And two. And I get the two rewards, so that's worked out perfectly. I'll take the... Do you want to take the contract? So you only have gem contract and specialist. specialist. I don't think you need the specialist, do you? Specialist have, is okay. Do you have any... How many dice do you have? One... I'm actually... I'm going to grab the specialist. Okay. I am, because um, I'm going to put it in this locked spot for now, but... Cool, cool, cool. It means I can send my specialist out here, and when I do that, I get to get another reward. So I'll be the next specialist out there, and then yeah. I get to immediately replace it with a new one. But this bottom one is put all three of your contractors out onto the permanently lost spaces. Oh, right. So either the trading or the here. So if you have all three of your contractors gone, then yeah. you're eligible for that reward. Now move on to the harvest phase, which I do have a dice on my board this round. I'm going to tab eight water, please. <laughs> <laughs> Spending it all, <laughs> trading it away. Yeah, yeah. And what's on the board? And on the board, I have free power, free water. I actually lost resources moving backwards, but yeah. um, it was worth it for the gem, I think. And for the bot, they return all of their dice first, which is just the one, I think. Mm -hmm. And they won't gain any income. So now we go to the rest phase. Rest phase for me, return all dice from the board. I get this dice back and this one. So now I've actually worked out my perfect amount of workers wow. here. And for the bot, they get to regain two dice. Just two dice. Yeah. No need to uh, roll, right? No. Yep. And they can discard these. You can destroy. Destroy a farm and a um, one of these. Wow, this second last round now, isn't it? Yeah, and oh, I'm gonna check and make sure yeah. they conspire or not, which is, they need to have four, on this board, because I've only got three at the moment. Mm -hmm. Four on the depository already. They unlock all the upgrades, which they haven't even started doing yet. They could get this one. Or if they have all three of their specialists out, they'll get the bottom one, which they haven't unlocked any specialists yet. So no need to worry there. Sure, sweet. All right, next um, next round's card, I guess. Yeah, so um, on to the plan. Oh, hang on, base. do you want to uh, swap contracts or not? That happens now. just after this, yeah. yeah. Oh, another blue card. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you sound uh, so almost guilty. Now, I right? am I am feeling guilty now that I've got every single <laughs> one blue. Um, new tech. Contract cards may be discarded to change your dice to any value. Ooh. Okay, that's well, nice. Well, yeah. One card per die. That's nice. You've got a lot of contract. And I'm Which going... fulfilling. Yeah, I'm going to trade one of these out and get rid of this one. Get two. The one that you don't like, you can use this round as well, if you don't like. And I got two end game ones, which is nice. Oh, This perfect. one gives me two points per ship and plant that I've built during the game, mm. which isn't a lot. But it gives me five. Oh, this one gives me five points and get, lets me build a ship at the end of the game. It's going to like help each other as well. Or like, yeah. do this one and then this one gets more. Yeah, true. If I can get both of them, that'll be a nice little combo. And I'm going to roll my dice, um, ready to sort them out. All right, lots of ones, lovely. <laughs> okay, my board is prepared, fully loaded with the ones up top, but luckily I've got those contract cards that can let me change dice, which I'll probably make use of, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, no one on the headquarters again, so we go straight over to the bottom turn. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Number two. Number two, and they're going to... Oxotea. Oxotea. And they've got three gems. I've already got the three gems slot. Field, so they're going to go down to two gems and take the okay. one below it. All right. Two. Ooh. That's not good because you want the water it one. It doesn't trigger any of the penalties, but the bot does trigger penalties, but they just don't take the punishment. Um, two gems. And 
They gain a specialist as well, according to this card. So we can unlock the first specialist, which is over here. This comes into their reserve here. And when they do the conspire part of their turn, they swap one of their dice for this specialist dice, ready for next round. Okay. So they probably will get at least one specialist mm. action yeah. during this game. Good, good. We'll show uh, that. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to show that. <laughs> uh, and on the next card, depository again. We have one gem, which they've got exactly. So <laughs> that's another five points for the bot. Ooh. All right. Easy done for the bot. Uh, over to us. So, kick things off. I am going to send this one. Oh, yeah, you've got six. Um, you can have six now because you have yeah. unlocked the specialist that lets you set six. That's right, yep. So yeah. I've got a spare specialist too. I forgot oh, about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's very good. Okay. I'm going to send that guy over there to um, for five water. For control room. Control room. Mm -hmm. Gives me one gem back. Yep. And I'm going to move him up and to the left. Over there, getting him closer to the um, that gem case I really want at the end of the game. Eight, yeah. Uh, next one, I'm going to actually do my specialist one, so yeah. it's on my brain. You know how many resources it cost me? Minus five. Uh, two algae. Uh, one. One algae. That's discount. Yeah, that's right. So there's a lot of minuses. This Let's guy. Ponder that a little bit more. I'm going to do my next action. So this action, I'm going to send this one, one algae. Do a little bit of I remember. Yep. I'm going to discard Shit. this card to turn this into a three as per the special round action. Yep. And I'm going to send it here to the foundry to build this um, sh ship here. Cost, uh, me. cost me two power. Mm. And when I go to the foundry, I get a gem as per my quarter staff. So I get another gem, please. You want to do trades on the, on the ship action? Yes, I do want to do trades. Yeah, give us another gem. <laughs> no, do I? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, you have um, I have these, like, what do you want gem for? Maybe these ones, you want to trade to get. Yeah, I was thinking that, but then I need gems to buy these cards as well. So that's, oh, yeah. Um, conflicting all of a sudden. That's true. You get that? I'm like, yeah, when you plan, it's like, oh, no, you need this. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, hang on. You know. Well, that's why this comes from as well, right? We haven't actually we haven't used, used the this game. Camp yet. And I, uh, um, so many good shiny So things. many good shiny things out on the board. That, <laughs> um, okay. If you have a lot of, lots of water, you can get that. So that's, let's say if you have six dice, so you have... Yeah. So if I put a six out there, I'll get yep. minus six to the cost. That's right. And the cost is either 16 or six, based on how many gems you want to get. Mm -hmm. If I put a six out there to get two gems, I could ten, spend ten water. Ten water to get, two, get gems two gems, or get one one that. gem for free. Yeah, which yeah is, is pretty good. Mm. If you want to get gems, so I got other ways of getting gems this game. So that's why I haven't used it because I'm generating a lot of gems. They're normally really hard to get, but yeah. these contract cards I keep building are getting me gems. So gems, um, lots of the gems. Making like, that combo work, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yam gems, <laughs> strawberry gems. So many varieties <laughs> of gems. I just remember this Aladdin movie, mm. the live action one. Yeah. There's this Prince oh, yeah, yeah, Ali yeah. Ababwa. Yeah. It's awkward, <laughs> like yam gems. <laughs> I love Will Smith. Yeah, it was a great movie. Actually. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I watched I it like really so many it. times. So really? This is distracting me. <laughs> yeah, let's get to the gems. <laughs> okay, so I've decided I will. I'm going to spend these gems and get out on here. And trade with my specialist. Spend one algae. I'm gonna spend one algae, that's right. And discount of one, so I'll go then two. Yep. Oops. <laughs> just like, algae going everywhere. Go get this card. That'll be on the eight, eight. at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> algae. Algae. <laughs> algae attack. Just take this one. Okay, yep. Um, I get the secret. Peek at two of these. Um, let's just see what these ones are. I'm not too interested. Five and seven. Five and seven. In case yeah. I end up down here for some, whatever reason, yeah. seven's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I get a dice when I go to that particular person. So I'm going to get that dice. <laughs> that particular person, that, eh? That faction, the gyre, Gyrek. Gyrek. Yep. That'll do. Um, you get second specialist unique bonus. I'm going to grab myself a gem. I have one gem back, please. Wow. 
Oh, I haven't spent my two gems yet. So oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to trade this one for my specialist because I can do that now. Because I had it in reserve, ready to go. This is my last specialist. And I'm going to use this specialist to do this action, which gives me five water when I do the action. What did you one take gem? from me? Is it did you spend there? Uh, it's free because oh, it's algae, algae-less. I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> um, so got that right. Got my five water. I'm going to build this Ooh. wraith here. I need one gem, one water, two algae, and three power. Which yes. they can do. You get two points per. Uh, two points per ship and plant combo, so maybe not so great. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to get free plants to make up for my free ships. <laughs> uh, for uh, one last round? For my last round. How <laughs> hard can it be? Yeah, well, great. It's worth five points. Let's just um, <laughs> let's look at it that way. <laughs> all right, that's my actions all done. So I'm going to move on to my harvest. Got a few dice down here, and I'm pretty tempted by this. 30 water in the last round. So Ooh. that's what I'm eyeing off. So I'm gonna Ooh, stack up probably do it. <laughs> 12 water here. Can you get some water from the board, but it's not that much. Uh, another six from the board, please. And four. I might be a little bit more sensible because I don't have much algae. So instead of getting six of this water, yep. sorry, oh, yeah. I'm gonna Oops. get free algae. Um, so that's those two dice used. Um, I've got my stuff from the board. Yes. But Returns dice from the board. I feel like they've spent them all again. So they're going to gain two yeah, dice. Yeah. There are some broke for the last round. Yeah, That's good. Nothing there. They're getting these two. And now they um, don't gain gems. They gain dice. Destroy a farm. Destroy a ship. They take these out. Mm -hmm. oh. Draw some new ones. And? Yeah. And I'm going to check my rests. So I will return all my dice from the board. Got five dice and a specialist. Perfect. And the rest. And oh, they've done that. Sorry. Conspire. So they're going to swap one of their, um, their specialists for one of these dice. Finally. And that specialist will be ready to use for them. And we can see how that works in the last round. Yeah. Yep. And did they qualify for any of these? For those who wait, you get rewarded. Don't. Till the next round. Thinks, oh, they got four. They got four dice out on here, so they're actually going to claim this yeah. uh, spot out here. So I'm going to roll this. Four, four. Oh, it's the same. Yep. So they get punished for it being the Yay. same. Yay! So they... <laughs> Just move that over there. That's oh. all the punishment they get. <laughs> Isn't that big? Yep. Um, but if it was if it was a player, they would lose two contract cards, and it also reaches eight. But I think they can only trigger one of these per round, yeah, rather yeah. than both. So turn. last turn. So the last turn card's always the same. It's not blue. <laughs> um, reveal all hidden gem caches. Yeah. Everyone knows what these are. Oh, on. there you go. Oh, seven surprise. Not oh eight. No, not much surprises here <laughs> for us. We go to planning. I'm gonna trade my poor doggy for two new cards. <laughs> And I'm gonna roll my dice. Better roll, better roll for sure. Okay. Just notice I made a mistake for the bot when I've done the two conspire actions for them and I've sent these dices out onto the faction over here. These dice should come from the reserve rather than from the board. So I'm gonna refill that dice that I removed last turn. Put it back on. Yep. Yep. Okay. Simple. All right, your turn. And yeah, I am all ready to go over here. So um, this is my board fully loaded. I'm not sure we're going to be able to use all these dice, but I'll do my best. <laughs> what, and to get farms? <laughs> yeah, I'll end up just sending them to the cantina, which you can do if you run out of yeah. um, water. You can just send it over there instead. Well, ex except the specialists, they can get something more. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. specialists can actually jump down to the right. bottom half, um, yeah, but you've still got to very... spend, the, spend the algae to do oh. that. Okay. All right, and bot's turn. Uh, so something new happens this round. So after headquarters phase, where I would, if I had anyone in headquarters, I would be able to send them out. But there's, um, there's nobody in there. We've got a phase 2B written on this card over here. And this happens as soon as they unlock their first specialists. What we do is we get a spare dice um, and we roll it. And then we refer Six. to this chart here to see what they do. If they had rolled a one, they would use their own 
specialist board to do the action, which I've never used. <laughs> um, and they would spend one of their gems and get one of their upgrades. And I'll yeah. explain upgrades now because it looks like they're not going to get a single upgrade this game yeah. unless they get one from the, one of these last cards. But what these two, these unlock in order one, two, three based on stars. And if they unlock this upgrade, they get one gem at every harvest phase for the rest of the game. Unlock this one, they get an additional dice every um, harvest phase for the rest of the game. And this one, if they get all three upgrades, they get to get an additional action every round. They also are worth two points each to the bot for each yeah. upgrade they unlocked. But they have unlocked none of these so far, so you may not see these in action at all this game. Which is very different to my last game, which they had all of these in like the second <laughs> round. <laughs> yeah, so that was... The other thing they can do is use my um, board over here and use my power. If they do that, they gain two gems for themselves and I get the reward under the yeah, board no, no, here, which would be a contract, two water, and either two algae or one power. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing, which is what we rolled, a six, lets them draw an additional card and send the contractor to whatever this card says. So in this Ooh. case, it wants to go to the Oxatea faction. They don't have any gems, so they're not going to go there. Instead, they're going to send their specialist to the temple to unlock another specialist. So they have unlocked their second one, and that should be up here. So I should have used this one to send it out. So they've unlocked this specialist. Yeah, yeah. Now go into that lock space. Just like the human players, I only ever use one specialist mm. uh, on their board at a time. And as soon as that one gets sent to the depository or faction, they'd bring in a second one. So now they've got these two normal actions. So first one moves the buggy. Six. Rover. Six. Yeah. Six. Up and to the left, yep. so that's going to shoot around this side of the board, and they'll take this gem. Scoop that up. Yep. Next up, they want to trade um, the Zarcho, the blue faction. That's probably horribly pronounced. I'll let you um, take the let it take the, the fall. <laughs> um, and they can't do that, so they're going to go to the academy and get two dice with a six. And two dice for them. Yeah. So they've run out of dice. Yeah, just one. So in that case, we replace it with a spare faction's dice. I'm just going to use one of my ones. But you would just use a, another just a faction that wasn't yeah. being used. And right, yeah. Add it to the bot. And second one. And they want to trade with the same faction again, the blue ones, which they've still only got one gem. Said so they're going to go to the market. No, sorry, the laboratory. And when they do that, Let's just use um, one of these ones instead, just to avoid confusion later. Yeah, yeah. We're going to put it um, onto here, only covering up one spot. It doesn't matter. No one can use this now that they've covered one spot. And they get to do an upgrade. So they're going to do eventually do one upgrade. And they do this one first. So they slide it up there. So remember that they get two points of unlocking that. And they'll get another gem this harvest phase. We'll, we'll get to see that at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's how they upgrade. Let's get these out and done. So I've built three shippies. That is one of the requirements for the Azuri over here. So I'm going to send that one out to there. I'm not going to take advantage of their action, which is to move my harvester backwards to gain a gem. I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, I want to stay close to here. I don't have to take use oh, of that Oh, you want to go to the eight one, did you? Do you? Yeah. Ooh. Um, their punishment, however, is to um, move one of these over to this side, which is actually quite annoying. So maybe uh, I should have. Can I? I'm gonna just rewind this time. Yeah. I'm gonna send my specialist out first. I'm gonna send my specialist here to this thirty um, water spot. Yeah. I got a five water discount, so I'm gonna spend twenty five water to get this. You do. Right. And the algae is only one. And algae is one. Thank you. And doing that, I'm going to get punished again <clears throat> because I've got two of these. But I get to gain a um, specialist one. or die. I'm going to die. And then because I have two specialists here, I get punished. I forgot about this. I'm going to lose pay. something. I'm going to lose a die. Lose a die, right? It's not really. I'll just, I'll just lose this one from my board. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just going to lose it from here. Resources at the end of the game aren't worth victory points. 
So that's my first action done. It doesn't really have any effect on this next action I'm going to do anyway, because I'm going to get that set back no matter what. We're going to, I guess we take one of these ones, minus two our gear, one power, or ship. Yeah. Ship would be really bad though. Yeah. Gem I can't do yet. You do. I could send a different dice out there. You do trade action. And try and get a gem before I, before you, I go. Can you do gem um trade action with? Let's let's with, try and get a gem so. maybe before I go there. Okay, so for this first one, I'm going to send him off to the foundry. Going to change it to a two. Yeah. Um, to get this bottom one, so it's worth one victory point at the end of the game. Spend two power, and I'll take that and put it here. Next one, we want to do a trade. I will pay Agri with this one though. Yeah. Cool. Um, trade, I don't think I'm interested in. I'm just going to send it off to the mining camp. And that's going to give me, pay one water. Which is my one and only little water to get one gem. Yeah, it's, it's six minus mm -hmm. five, so one water left. Next one, we want to send this guy up to the control room. This is free for algae. Control room costs me two power, which I can do. Is free power saved for anything else in my life? <laughs> you don't have water, do you? I don't think. I don't need it if I use power. So yeah. Spending the power, moving the headquarters up to here. Six is in that direction. Mm -hmm. So, and I get a gem when I do this. Do you, um... And this last one, we're going to send over here. And I can go on either one of these spots because I'm actually qualified for both of them. Yes. Uh, I've got my all my three of my specialists out here. I was planning to get both of these, but it didn't happen in the end. Um, Very good. And it's going to set me back, so I've gone well over eight now. Mm -hmm. uh, and you only ever trigger one of these. I'm going to yeah. lose a gem yep, yep. from doing the setback. That's all right. And I'm not going to take the action to move my harvester back. Yeah, it's perfect so where it is. Gem. Right where it wants to be. That's right, and you um you have exactly three That's algae it. to pay, right? Did you pay? Hmm? Did you pay three algae? Three algae, correct. Yeah, you have I exactly. Had that. Exact. Yeah. That is um a well managed set of resources. I know. Right look there. at that. Wow, uh, wow. That is the end of your turn. That is the end of my turn. At the end of the and game. End of the game. All right. So we're gonna go through the phases still. So we're going to yep. harvest next. Yep. I harvest nothing here, and um, harvest on the board. I don't believe matters now. It's yep. flipped. Bot will harvest, they will return dice from the board and they'll get three gems from having those and plus one, so four gems in total. So that's points for them at the end. Yep. They gain dice if they could, they don't need to. Destroy a farm, destroy a ship, don't yep. need to do that. Matter, yeah. Conspire, they haven't unlocked all of their specialists so they don't conspire. And that's it for them. Um, that's all done. The rest is all done. So now we go to end of game scoring. So we've got this notepad here that we have. Now, usually Garfield Games has got an app that you can download. It's a free app that tracks the scores of all the games. But because this is expansion, there's no still, app yet. There's still in, in development. It's still in development, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we haven't got the app for the expansion we got it yeah. for the base game it's nearly yeah. the same but there's yeah. a few things that we miss so just we're going to do it pen and paper old school style yes um for now yeah and i think we should score our bot friend first so all their scoring criteria are printed on this board just here um so okay. we're going to start with um their agreements out on the boards so the trades that they've made with the natives we add up just the points on this right here this is 10 21, 28, 30. So 30 for um, 30 yep. for that. Just write 30 down. Yeah. They get one point for every pip on every dice in the depository. So that's going to come, um, we go to the main board. Over here, they've got 6 plus 5, so that's 11, plus 5, 16, plus 4, 20, plus 4, 24. So 24 for the depository. They score points, so their rover will immediately move to the highest scoring spot closest to them. So they'll yeah. move immediately to the highest one, which is seven. So they get seven points for that. They get two points for upgrade they unlocked, which is two points. 
So we're going to upgrade, um, two points per upgrade. Uh, we get one point per gem, five gems, so five. Yes. So we get one point per positive blue event, which I believe was all six. <laughs> so six uh, points for that. Yeah. That certainly helped me a lot this game. <laughs> and because the expansion bit's not on here, so we have to check these sideboards. So they get two points for having this specialist unlocked. And they'd get another four if they had this one, but they don't. So it's yep. just two points for the specialist. Yep. And the total is? 74. Ooh, all right, Henry. Not a bad score. Yeah, that's all right. Board. So let's come to my scoring. Let's do the, just like the bot we do yep. out here with these um, specialists. Yes. So I have light blue, 5, 10, 19. 28, 34, 38. Yep. It's pretty good. Yeah. More Next we'll do contracts. So that's these cards along here at the bottom of my board. So we've got 5, 9, 14, 19, 23, 28, 30. And do any of them score endgame points? Yes, two of them do. So I've got 30 plus, this one adds zero, so I've got no plants to pair with my <laughs> ships. Yeah. Um, but this one gives me two per, sorry, this one gives me two per um, purple person I've traded with, which is three of my, yep. so that's another six points for that. So 36, 36. pretty good total already. Yeah. Uh, next up, we can score our board here. So our ships, we have eight points. This is like the last printed spot on the plus, board. Plus two. So if I was this many, it would be five. Yeah. But if I got here, eight, nine, ten, yeah. and zero for my plant. So I didn't build any. Uh, we've got our harvester on the board. That's going to give us eight points. So I've got to the best one. Yeah. And I also get points for the specialist expansion, which is seven based on this sideboard. I've got this one unlocked for five and this one unlocked for two. And any gems will also score. I've got one gem, so yep. it's one. Ooh. So you want to add that up, Stella? Sure. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> I think I had a good game. And the big reveal, I've got 100 points that to 74. Good. feels really good. Like you are really, really efficient on all your actions. It's yeah. Like just play it like really this, tight. I got about 60 my first game. I got 70 my second and this one, I think having six blue events really boosted my score, but um, 100 this time. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I found this lady's power with the contract cards yep. pairing with that specialist area I had that gave me the discount on the contracts. Really strong combo. Um, I think I picked well at the start there yeah, with, yeah, the, yeah. with that pairing. So but That's just one of the combos. That's, a that's just one of the there combos. There are so many combos yeah. that you can do in this game. That's it. And you need a, I, the bots also scored 100 points against me before. So yeah, yeah. Um, you need to do well. Yeah. And you need to make these good combos. You need to like really, um, really make the most of it. And that was just a standard bot. So that can get a lot harder than that too. It can also be easier. That was um, a lot of crunching there. A bit of crunching you didn't see on camera. Um, <laughs> where I'm, you know, working out which dice goes where. So I really like the combo between the specialists and these um, additional tiles we have here, the specialist sort of um, thing here. Uh, I can't remember what these ones are called now, but um, the when we played at multiplayer, they, they're, they're fun because you use each other's. They use, use each other's yeah. one and you're not limited by your actions yeah. so much. You've got an extra option here. And you can build like a strong pair in here. And there's also an optional rule in the rule book where you can get two leaders per faction. So your combos can be like really different, really different style of gameplay. And I think that just makes it really replayable. Like I've played this three times solo now and every time it's been like a really different game. Yeah. Um, I had one that, that let me have two specialists for the whole game. That was one of my leaders in one wow. of the games I played. Yeah, yeah. So I could like use two specialists every round and have seven workers for that game. Yeah, just really cool, really interesting stuff. So yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I think um, the specialist is really I adding. Think the this. specialist adds a lot. It yeah. obviously adds a little bit of complexity, but I, yeah, I don't mm. mind it. I think you know it's going to take you a game, um, especially mm. if you're not if you haven't played the original one. It's going to take you a little bit of, mm -hmm. to get your head around the specialist as well. As well, they are at a degree of like forgiveness, I guess, as well, where 
a specialist is like a wild one. So if you're really struggling to make yeah, something yeah, work, then you, sure. can, you can jump ahead with the specialist or move the specialist down to gather resources on your turn. So adds that flexibility and less slightly less punishing, I think, mm-hmm. as well in that yeah, regard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do like less punishing games. And often expansions bring that sort of thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think they just address <clears throat> certain issues that yeah. maybe the original base game had, like maybe some players were finding it little bit too punishing if you didn't math out your your workers correctly oh, that round yeah. so you got your specialist there that can jump between the two floors and either get your resources that round or get you goods yeah and i just liked how in this particular game i got to build all of these different contract cards that let me build like a really interesting oh, engine wow. yeah a lot of them. i didn't even use a lot of the actions on the board i'm not sure if you want to talk about some of the actions i didn't use uh i think we I went over we most use... of them but the academy lets us get more dice. That's right. Um, we can spend either a little bit of resources to get one or a lot of resources to get two based on the dice values. The lab I sort of explained already, you need a matching pair of dice and to spend either free algae or 10 water to get one of these um, additional incomes. Yep. These can be passive incomes every round without sending any dice there or dice related incomes. Market we didn't use on the board directly. But if I had a six here, I could make six trades using mm. these trade actions here. So free water for two algae. I could do that six times if I wanted to get nice. a whole lot of algae all at once. Or yeah. if I had a whole bunch of gems, I could trade it out for like a lot of the other resources. Cool. Um, those are the ones we didn't use on the board. I did yeah. sneak a headquarters action in there during yeah. the game. And you did do temple. And I did do a once, temple. I yes, I yeah. had a, a temple in there. So yeah, so you saw most of what this had to offer. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I hope you yeah, enjoyed this playthrough. Yeah, um, the solo playthrough. Really, really happy about how that went, for me at least. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so do check out the Kickstarter project. I'll link it in the description below. Yes. And um, if you, it will be really helpful if you could please hit the like button. Yes, for sure. And comments below if you want. Maybe even like another solo playthrough for Henry, another solo review. Let us know in the comments. We do different yeah. type of videos. We even have how to play videos for circadian base game uh, in this channel as well mm-hmm. and uh, that's it yeah yeah thanks so much for doing no, that henry and congratulations again thank you okay thanks, <laughs> see thanks. everyone bye. see you bye